Hi guys, what's up? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isom, your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader doing the darn thing today for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the Cross Watcher. This is your general love reading for the week. Please take what resonates for you guys and leave the parts that don't. If nothing resonates at all, check your other placements. Feel free also to reverse the roles. I could be saying you, 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 but this is actually your person in the energy, okay? Um, and if nothing resonates, guys, in your moon rising and Venus, then check the, check the older readings, okay? The description box has my link tree where you can find me on other social media platforms. It also has a storefront that I created, guys. Yeah, with some of the things I like. All right, you can go check it out. Um, you know, just decks and stuff like that, things that, you know, I recommend or that I like to use. Okay. Um, and then last but not least, guys, if any of this does resonate, please definitely make sure you show your girl some love like share subscribe comment down below i always love speaking to you guys um and sharing the energy okay so let's get into it cancer all right your overall energy oof, seven of swords okay seven of swords now I don't like that card. That card can talk about a lot of different things, but let's get into the past energy regarding love for cancer. Okay. Let's get into the current energy for cancer, please, regarding love. <clears throat> wow. There's a lot of back and forth here. There's a lot of, I don't know what to do. Let's talk about the near future and love for cancer please i have two of wands okay what doesn't cancer see coming and i have two of ariel what doesn't cancer see coming okay ten of swords all right um overall energy seems like there's some sort of deception quite possibly or somebody who is being uh incredibly dishonest with you guys all right maybe you might be the one not telling this person the truth all right i'm just saying someone could be running away from something responsibility the past you know we'll see in the recent past, we have two of Ariel, 10 of Raphael, and we have the decision card. Okay. So it's, you may have released some sort of person connection, um, with somebody that you, it, and this was, I think you went back and forth about this. I feel like this person brought a lot of indecision in your life, or there was a person that was indecisive. So you needed to kind of boss up for yourself and make a decision here, right? And releasing yourself from something that might have felt very toxic for you, okay? Um, so you could heal. I feel like you were trying to heal from something that somebody did. I almost feel like there was this like, you know, um, what do I want to say? Like somebody promised you a lot. Okay, somebody promised you a lot and I feel like there was a lot of disappointment around it. In the current energy, we have the Seven of Cups. Definitely a lot of confusion and a lot of things to think about. The Two of Gabriel and the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, there's a lot of... I feel you sort of stuck at like where to go and what to do. Okay, it seems like this has been going on for a long time. Um, it's, it's actually a little bit confusing because I feel on one hand you decided something and then on another hand this person decided something. And overall, there's a lot of mistrust between the two of you for whatever reason. Okay. And what you don't see coming is a 10 of Michael. It's an ending to a long standing issue that never seems to really get resolved here it's like stuck here and stuck here okay a lot of back and forth 
In the near future, we have the lovers. That's definitely Gemini energy. And it also talks about making a decision to split from a person. So either this person is going to make that decision or you will be making that decision. We also have the three of pentacles and we have the four of um the four of swords which talks about resting it talks about not talking to a person um and the three of pentacles is like you know teamwork and cooperation and stuff like that but it also can indicate a third party we'll see if it is that i don't feel like that though why do we have this two of ariel in the past i'm sorry guys you know what this retrograde is like killing me two of swords ten of pentacles Somebody here may have been considering leaving a family and that's why this is really, really stinking hard cancer. Okay. 10 of, ten, look, two of swords, two of pentacles and a 10 of pentacles. This is telling me someone is feeling really stuck. Either you're feeling stuck or your person's feeling stuck or tied to you um, because of the family or something like that. Okay. Yeah, 10 of Raphael, they're not miserable in the connection, but they also, for some reason, somebody doesn't want to be in this connection. The Fool, Leap of Faith. This is somebody, Aries Energy, wanting to take a leap forward and move ahead to something else, okay? The Lovers, yeah. Gemini Energy, there could be a third-party energy here, whether it's for you or the person that you're dealing with, please take it as it resonates. I don't want people all mad for whatever reason. Like this is a general reading. I, I need to say that. General means 20 million people can see this reading. It's for no specific person, okay? So don't take it personal. You know what your energy is here, right? So somebody is deciding, I think, to um, maybe connect with a soulmate energy but somebody's having a hard time leaving another connection because they may be tied to it as far as family or kids or something like that okay but somebody definitely wants to uh, take a huge leap forward here take a risk and they're thinking this might not be a good idea to do what's this decision card again What's this decision card, please? It's like temperance. <clears throat> Somebody is in this connection, I feel is trying to say, here's all the reasons why you shouldn't give up on our relationship, okay, and leave. Whatever this is, it's very hard for somebody because there's so much involved here. This is one of those onions where you peel back the layers. Uh, this is a tough one, okay? Somebody's got a lot to be thinking about when it comes to possibly separating from this connection, okay? I feel like in the past, it's not like everything was terrible in this connection at all. I actually see a really good connection. You guys have been through a lot together. You built a family. You got a home, stuff like that. This is really great. Somebody took a leap of faith and jumped into this, this connection. You both did. And you did it together is what I'm seeing. Current energy seven of Raphael. Why is that here? <clears throat> So interesting. Somebody, okay. Why do I feel like somebody just wants a hall pass or needs a hall pass? I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe y'all just been together forever. But there's some confusion here. There's a need to take action. There might be a lot of built up stuff or you know energy in this particular situation with this person there's a need for calm peace healing between the two of you somebody might want to be single here with the nine of pentacles um and disconnect is what i'm feeling okay uh, Knight of Pentacles is telling me that somebody is making plans, I feel like, for the future that they want to carry out and that has to do with them. Maybe somebody, maybe we have an imbalance here where one of you is growing and learning and the other one's just kind of sticking behind and staying stagnant. Okay, because the two of swords is a very stalemate kind of stuck energy. Let's see why we have the two of Gabriel. 
Versace, what are you doing? Why is the two of Gabriel here? Queen of Wands. Ooh, I don't like that. Why is the two of Gabriel here? <clears throat> Temperance. Someone... Someone's trying to, to decide, do I reconcile this with this person, temperance, energy, Sagittarius, or do I move forward by myself? There's something here. I, I feel like there's something that's not, I feel like something's hidden. There's something that's not coming out here. Did this person betray you? I, I don't know. Let's look at this 10 of coins really quick. And then let's see. Why is this 10 here, please? What's this about, please, in the current energy? Your guys, this thing is confusing. Okay. I feel like your person is the one, and please take it as it resonates, that feels like they are doing so much. They're overextending themselves. It could be you guys, but I feel like they're starting to feel as if everything that they're taking on is a burden. Okay, and there's a lot of like, there's tons of love in this connection and there's also tons of stress in this connection. And I feel like you guys, for some of you, you really built a life with this person. Okay, Cancer, but you're kind of at that point where it's like, are we at a breaking point in this relationship? Can we endure this part? You know, we both need healing. We both need space. I'm over here. You're over there. Maybe some of you don't get time to really uh, be with each other that much here. But I'm really curious what the Seven of uh, Swords is. So let's see. I feel like somebody's trying to get away from the connection more than anything. All right. What's going on with the seven of swords, please? Yeah, somebody is being impulsive and jumping to make a maybe possibly really stupid ass decision here and file for divorce or something like that. Okay. There could be, there could be the possibility that somebody went outside of this connection, okay, that there was some sort of betrayal, something that really popped off here and happened. But for some of you, I see that somebody is needing space. Things are starting to become a lot for them. They're going through a lot of changes and they don't know what they want, but they do know at the end of the day, there's something up and they need some sort of healing. Things just aren't quite the same here especially with this temperance and the four of swords. That's telling me this is something that has been happening for a long period of time. And somebody has been putting their needs above somebody else's with the 10 of wands and the king of cups and stuff in order to keep things going. Okay. In order to just keep things going. That's what I'm really feeling here. All right. Why do we have the lovers, four of Michael and the three of Ariel in the future? Talk to me about the lovers. This is Gemini energy. You could be dealing with uh, a Libra. We have Sagittarius out here. We have Gemini twice, five of pentacles. Yeah, there's a lack of love and understanding, I think here. And I feel like somebody's making a decision to walk away, okay? Yeah, three of wands, okay? This is about you know, the oppor another opportunity in the future. And I feel like somebody may make a decision to walk away from this. And it's not because I don't feel like it's because they don't love you or you don't love them. I think it's just become a lot. Somebody is very, very feels overwhelmed here. Okay. Why do we have the four of Michael, please? You know, some of you are meditating, you're starting to see things in in a in a way where it's like you can't pour from an empty cup. You can't take care of a family and another person and be responsible for loving them or babysitting them or whatever it is until you fulfill this part. So I think that somebody is realizing that here, like, damn, I'm in this, I have a wonderful situation and yet I'm unfulfilled here. There's something here. Okay. So somebody is trying to move away from the connection. Why is the four of Michael here, please? 
Yeah, two of cups. They really, truly, I feel like somebody loves you. They want to resolve this, but they need time. Okay, why else is this four of swords here? Eight of swords. They feel confused. They may feel like, you know, they've sabotaged the connection. They want to get things back the way they were. However, this person needs to heal whoever this is. And eight of swords is a person, it's like a self-imposed prison. You know, somebody may be thinking all of these things, overthinking themselves into oblivion or thinking that things between you guys are a certain way, but they're really not. There's actually a really beautiful, loving connection here, okay? But I also feel like somebody in the near future is meeting somebody here, okay? There might be a new opportunity for love and somebody is gonna go for it, okay? Why is the three of Ariel here? This could be somebody that's being met on the job. <clears throat> Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody's gonna somebody is gonna walk away from a connection completely here. Ten of Swords, Six of Swords. So be aware that either I mean it could be you guys, but be aware that somebody in the near future here is telling you they need space, they want to heal. But I feel like they could have already been kind of having a vibe or connecting with somebody here because I see somebody moving away from something and there's a huge betrayal. This is a an ending of a very difficult situation of maybe you guys being together and somebody moving on, okay? I see somebody moving on big time because here's that 10 of Michael again. Somebody's Somebody is definitely fucking somebody over and they're at their final... I don't know. This went from me feeling like you guys are going to work it out and you just need space to somebody getting the space and just ruining it. Okay. Somebody has like a change of plans here. That's what it feels like. I feel like somebody's trying to tell you this is just temporary. We can work things out. I just need some space. You know, everything's cool between us, but in the, in the future, this person may be talking to somebody on their job or they're meeting somebody if they travel this person could be at a distance here okay and i feel like they're going to choose to end the connection because they feel like they've met somebody more compatible to them why do we have the ten of michael yep nine of cups what you don't see coming why is the ten of michael here high priestess you guys are going to be okay, okay? Um, I, I feel like secrets are going to come out, right? You're going to find this information out about your person. So if they've been giving you the song and dance of, you know, I just need some time and space. Maybe we should just separate for a while. It's going to be good for our relationship, our marriage. This person, I don't know if they've been planning this, but they're moving on. Okay, somebody's going to move on here and it's going to be a what the fuck just happened to the person who's been sitting here waiting on this. You guys built a life together. It didn't seem like there was all this stuff wrong, but I feel like somebody is very restless. Um, you know, they need some type of other stimulation. They need to do their personal work. They need some sort of growth. They might have felt stagnant in the connection. Some of you could have been with this person for a long time, okay? So I feel like it's coming out here, right? And I feel to some degree, for some of you, not all of you, there may be a relief, okay? There may be a relief like finally, you know, finally, finally finding out because I feel like this person may have been trying to you know, play good, good cop. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm not up to shit. You know what I mean? Whoever this says, I'm not up to anything. I don't know. I wouldn't say they were up to something the whole time. They might have had a wandering eye from time to time. Talk to me about cancer. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. I think that's why this person didn't leave when they wanted to because they felt that stability with you. Okay, Cancer, and you've been there for them. But, the, you know, the, this for you is going to grow you, okay? Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude. Bliss. 
I feel like this is you keeping a positive mindset, even though this is happening. Lightning, this is like the tower card. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Even though this might be a lot for you, let's say, you know, in either direction, I think it's still a good thing because sometimes people stay together just to keep families together. And I, I get that there. I had that point in my life where I tried to do the same thing as well, but deep down, I was really unhappy, not just with the connection that I was having, but with myself, we all need to go on a self healing journey. Okay. So I feel if this is your person, that's a little bit what they're trying to do. Um, and if it's you, this may be what you're trying to do too. And in the middle of that, you're finding somebody here that might be a little more better suited for you. So definitely letting go fully of the connection and that might really hurt this person, but they might understand too in the future. If this is you, that it's for a good reason. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's going to overindulge themselves in, in something that they're up to. And I think it's going to bring an end to this connection. So, I mean, just a heads up. Okay. I am very honest when I do my tarot. All right, guys. So that's what I got for you, Cancer. Thank you so much for being here. If any of this did resonate for you at all, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe for your girl. Don't forget to hit the notifications button. It'll tell you every time I'm uploading or when I'm going live. All right. Bye.